The two great revolutions in physics in the 20th century were quantum theory and Einstein's theory of relativity. Quantum theory, which explains how an atom or a laser work, includes a very strange set of rules. For example, it allows a particle to be in two places at the same time. This is called the superposition principle. The theory of relativity tells us how space and time change under the influence of speed, or massive objects. For example, it says that a clock would tick at different rates depending on its distance from a massive object. In standard quantum theory, on the other hand, time is a global parameter, so that clocks tick at the same rate everywhere in the universe. Scientists are searching for a single unifying theory, but these two theories seem to resist these attempts. Experiments which combine effects from the two theories are important, as they may provide hints regarding ways in which the two theories work together. Now, a unique experiment conducted by a team of researchers at Ben Gurion University of the Negev, led by Professor Ron Fullman, might bring our understanding one step forward. The team asked, what time would a clock measure if we put it simultaneously in two places, for which relativity predicts that clocks should tick at different rates? Fullman's team used a clock made of a single atom. They placed this atomic clock in a vacuum chamber to isolate it from any outside interference and cooled it almost to absolute zero. Then, a state of superposition was induced using strong magnetic fields. And for a short time, the clock was in two separate locations simultaneously. Because the time difference due to the gravitational field of Earth is small, the scientists simulated a stronger gravitational field using other fields produced in the lab. When the clock was returned to its original state of being in just one place, it showed a distinct change of behavior. The researchers concluded that the atomic clock indeed ticked at different rates simultaneously, and that the principles of quantum theory and relativity may be observed working together. Aside from anticipating a possible unification of these theories, such experiments may also help shed new light on the nature of time itself, as time seems to be one of science's least understood parameters. Better understanding of the quantum realm will lead to major technological breakthroughs in the near future. Atomic clocks are already in use in GPS systems. Atomic magnetometers will map the brain, and quantum-based computers will be much faster than those we use today. A unification of quantum physics and relativity may one day open even wilder possibilities now in the realm of science fiction, and experiments like this one are another step towards revealing the never-ending surprises that nature has in store for us.